I guess. It's strange. I kind of want to say, long time no see to you guys. Yukari chan. You know, I had a feeling a while back that something like this might happen. There are four lit flames. This battle will determine which side gains the true key. Well, have you made your choice? Tell me that you didn't defeat the others without a clear objective. Yes, I've made my decision. I know what I want to do. There was something crucial that I hadn't known, but my sister revealed it to me. To care about someone dear to you, to strengthen the bonds of friendship, that doesn't necessarily mean that the pain of living will stop. Sister. If something's precious, you don't want to lose it. If someone's dear, it's painful to part with them. Loss can hurt, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I, too, have something important. That's why I'm willing to fight you two now. I guess. <laughs> you sound like you're back to your usual self again. You know, I have to say, you've been a little out of it lately. It was kind of disappointing, because you were acting all mechanical, like when you first got to the dorm. But now, I'd say you've got more life in you than ever. Yukari-san. All the same, I can't give in either. I'm not going to lose this battle, no matter what. Gonna tear you apart! Show me your resolve. This is the last battle. If we win, give me a sec. I'll scan the target. I need your help!
I knew you wouldn't be an easy opponent. Take mine too, I guess. I agree with you the most, so... Everyone! It may sound strange to hear, but I'm so glad that you're all safe. So, what are you gonna do with that key? That was a nice speech back there, but you still haven't made a real decision, huh? Then give it to me! <laughs> give me that key! Yukari-chan! It's no use. Only my sister can use the true key now. I wanna see him! <sighs> I made a promise to him, too. I promised that I'd try my best to change this world so that people would stop wishing for the fall. It wasn't like yours. It was something I promised myself while holding his cold hand. That's why I decided to put the past behind me and look forward. Kari san. But I can't. I can't be that person. I want to see him. I don't care about anything else. I just want to see him again. Yukari son.
Yukari, there's no way to truly put the past behind you. In the end, you only succeed in running from it. It's painful to face, but if you don't, your wounds will never heal. So if I keep facing it, someday everything will be okay? Eventually I'll forget all about him, or stop caring? Like that's ever gonna happen. No one knows that better than us! <sighs> You're right. But can't we be there for you when things are at their worst? The way you were there for me last year. Huh? That may not have been what you meant at the time. But even now, I consider your being at my side last year as one of the most cherished moments of my life. That's why, when we lost him without being able to thank him, I swore deep down, if something ever happened to make you suffer, I'd put my own feelings aside and stand with you. Mitsu Senpai. Yukari. To lose someone you had such a strong bond with is agony. But there's no need to suffer alone. You have us with you. Isn't that the whole point of forming such bonds? <laughs> Yukari-san. I understand your feelings. Ever since I was born, I have spent all my time thinking about him. So, I suggest we see it. To find out once and for all what he left for us. We still don't know the real reason behind his death. Without knowing that reason, I can't decide what is right. That's why I would like to see the past again, before using this key. To see the truth of what happened, the moment he used his power. Huh? Can we really do that? I don't see why not. We've already experienced the past here many times. You mean those doors that lead to the past? But they all disappeared. There aren't any left. The only way back to the past is the door to his room. And we know we don't want to use the key on that. No. There's one more door. That's right. The door that leads to Polonia Mall. The doors reflect the minds of those who enter them. If our wish is strong enough, we should be able to use that door to look into the past. I see. Good thinking. How about it, everyone? Sounds like it's worth a try. What's wrong? I was just thinking, there's nothing left for me to do. And I'm sure none of you would want me along. I did some horrible things to you. Dude, what are you talking about? We all got ourselves into this mess. You don't have to be so hard on yourself. Don't you remember? I told you that I wouldn't leave you behind. Jeez, if you'd been like that from the start, things would have been a lot smoother. Still, we're pretty lucky there's one door left. It's a real lifesaver, huh? Now that you mention it, that is strange. Once a door's purpose has been fulfilled, it disappears. 
If that door's purpose is to prepare for battle, it should have vanished once the battles were over. Our fight afterward was just bickering between ourselves. There's only one logical conclusion. If that door's role is to allow us to prepare for battle, and it hasn't yet disappeared, doesn't it follow that there's still an enemy left to defeat? Our feelings are the reason for all of this, and what Igis proposed relates directly to the core of our pain. We should probably expect to encounter something unknown. Then... what now? Uh, should we find another plan? If what Mitsuru-senpai says is true, we have to go. Right? <laughs> <laughs>